The infamous Case J has finally arrived. Oh my gosh, this case has been extremely delinquent. He's been very naughty over the last few months. I will retell its journey because it is wild. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it before in my Dana review, Bertha Butler's Wagon, Revney Garante, a gig haul, etc. But we've pretty much seen it all now from start to finish. And I had to start off the video in a dramatic way because the story of Case J is that of Shakespearean drama. You know, whether it be Romeo or Juliet or Hamlet, this will top it, I guarantee you. But before we get into that, I want to thank Gimme Collectibles. Mattel finally sent the case to him. You know, people have been asking me for months, why aren't you unboxing Case J? You know, you skipped Case J. You went from H to K. Don't you know the alphabet, you idiot? I'm like, relax, <laughs> relax. And you guys know, I've talked about it before, I actually ordered all the cars from Greece because that's where this case originally hit to review them early for you. And that is why we did this inversely. I reviewed the cars before the case unboxing. But yeah, give me collectibles, this contact info and eBay link is in the description below if you want pretty much anything cars related. All right, so let's talk about case Jay, in the most concise way possible, because I'm sure you guys might already have some details on it, but it includes three new releases, being Dana Crankoff, Bertha Butters Wagon, and Rebney Garante. Cool stuff, right? And some new title and variants, and some just new to 2022 Red Riders packaging. So it's a pretty significant case. It's not like, you know, case B this year, where there was nothing, essentially. In mid-July, it hit a store in Greece. Not to offend any Greeks, but that's an odd place for a case of cars to first hit. Maybe Australia, maybe Canada, maybe the United States, maybe England. That's all pretty standard, but Greece, that's pretty much never happened before. But it lived in Greece exclusively for about a month besides like one reseller who got it in, in the United States. And so I, like I said, bought them all for the most part from this Greece seller on eBay. And that's how I was able to review some of these guys for you. Then in August, the reduced, minimized version of Case J hit United States Walmart stores. And so reduced means instead of 24 pieces, it was just 12. So you take away these, you take away Kabuto, Dexter Hoover, and some of the other ones you'll see in here, and you only had Revney Garante and Bling Bling McQueen. Let me repeat that. So out of like seven cars that were introduced in this case for the first time this year only two of them are in the walmart version of that case now that case at least for me has been very easy to find i've seen it incessantly for about a month now so hopefully you guys can find it if you want but target in the united states has not touched case j at all has not gotten it in to this day which is still a little concerning so maybe this isn't the end to the story but anyways smiths in england got it in full board the 24 count version here, Australia, nothing, Canada, nothing, Fred Myers in the United States, which is a Northwest store up in like Oregon and Wisconsin, not Wisconsin, Washington, get my W states mixed up. They got it in, again, 24 count case, the full deal. And then finally, more resellers in the United States got in the full case. So that is the full story right now, whether or not it will hit Walmart. My bad. Whether or not it'll hit Target in full remains to be seen. But considering, you know, we're already on case M, which I just unboxed a couple, you know, days ago, about a week ago now, since that's like the new big thing, I kind of doubt they will go back to case J, but it's certainly possible they've done it before. And you guys let me know what you think about the whole situation because, yeah, like I said, it is pretty dramatic. And Mattel certainly botched this case, especially since you have two awesome new releases that just aren't released broadly to the United States. You have Revney at Walmart, but these other two, no. All right, so yeah, 24 pieces, BJ. Of course, B just stands for 2022. J is for the exact assortment. We're going to use my fancy new contraption here, which, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys like my story. I know it was a little long-winded, but there's just so many details to it that I don't want to leave anything out. But yeah, I know my geography, guys. I'm just trying to talk so fast. I was like, oh, Wisconsin, yeah. Yeah, I'm not stupid. 
Ugh. Wow, that was clean. <laughs> I feel like a badass now. All right, let's dig in. Where are we going to start? Because you guys know I like to start with the lame stuff, objectively, of course. And yeah, this looks pretty lame. <laughs> It is none other than Mater. Oh, by the way, this is my last case unboxing for the year, I think. Yeah, there won't be any more singles cases. There won't be any more deluxe cases. I'd leave it about like a 5% chance that somehow I get the two-pack case to unbox because I still need three of the ones in that case. You know, Mike Fuse, Zen Master Pity, Nate Stanchion, Noriyuki, K. Pillar, Durev. I do need those to keep on card. So it's possible I unbox that case, but... Probably still unlikely. So here you have Mater. Again, nothing we haven't seen before, but I always do say I like seeing, you know, something that we can reflect back on and parallel to the 2006 Desert line. Like they're using the same exact art. I do kind of wish they minimized it though. I don't like how the hook cuts it off. But yeah, Mater on a decent card. Lewis Hamilton on a bad card. So yeah, again, not the worst, not the best. I've seen a few of him now because he is in the Walmart version of Case J. So him and even Artist Ramon here are some of the ones that make it into the Walmart case. And so I have seen quite a few of them and they aren't like the most exciting releases in the world. I like the art that they use for Lewis here because it's one that they haven't really used in the past. And so it just makes him look a little bit more fearsome and just fresh, you know? On the back here, you can see some other cards, two releases, two of which I think are very rare, Mater with Balloon and Otis. I've never seen a Mater with Balloon in a store. I've only seen Otis once, which is when I unboxed the case in like Hunt episode 20, I think it was. And there you have, of course, Artist Ramon, who is right here. This was his first Thailand release, and wow, thank gosh, it's on a perfect card. But yeah, he was first introduced in case E. And I think he might have been in another case as well. So this one isn't super exciting. And of course, they call him Ramon Green, which is just, I mean, that literally is the English version of it. You know, there you have, I don't know, is that, okay, so that's Spanish. That might be French. Ramon Verde, Ramon Verde. But yeah, I hate that they call him that. That's just terrible English. And it's not even like Green Ramon. Green Ramon is the dark green version from Cars 1. This is Artist Ramon. That is the official name of this version of Ramon. The version in this color with the paint gun, which you can see they even left a spot for in the blister, is called Body Shop Ramon. So yeah, they definitely got some of the names wrong. And as you can see, these card backs are the same, but they swapped around some characters. You know, you got Lewis Hamilton. They flipped those, and then they put Light McQueen on here. Who did they swap out? Mayor with Balloon, Artist Ramon. Oh, and they just swapped. I'm so confused, though. They had to have gotten rid of somebody. Why am I so flustered right now? Oh, they got rid of Sarge on this one. I was like, they had to have gotten rid of somebody if they put McQueen on there. They got rid of Sarge. <laughs> Doi. Who is this? Just Lightning McQueen. I was like, is this Bugmouth McQueen? No, it's just Lightning McQueen. Only one, though, so I can accept that. Again, one that we can... You know, hark back to in 2006 because they're using the same art, which I think is really cool. But obviously, one of the biggest peg warmers of the year is this guy. Although not the biggest, the biggest I would say is Matthew True Blue McCrew and Darla Vanderson. I see them nearly at every store I go to, whether it be Meyer, whether it be some random store, or you know, just the big box stores like Target or Walmart. And again, as I've talked about before, this is just meant to be Tractor with Tire, who came out in Case K. It is not like an upcoming regular release of Tractor. That is not what they intended here. It was just a placeholder because they didn't have, I guess, the image for Tractor with Tire. But it's cool that they had like so much diversity. Like this didn't come out till Case D. This obviously not till Case K. And yet this McQueen is from the first case of the year. All right, well, I guess we could jump to Revni Garante because he is probably, I don't know, he's my favorite new release from this case, but for a lot of people, they'll want to see Bertha and Dana because of the fact that they are 
not really broadly available as much as Rebney. And, you know, of course, they have two Rebneys, which I think was a great choice. He will be undoubtedly the easiest car to get from this case. Bertha will then be the next because she was re-included in case L. Dana, however, is pretty much exclusive to this case. So actually, she absolutely is because we're done with the year. Like M was the last case. J, you know, obviously not the last case unboxing for me, but we're going back you know, a few letters. So yeah, nice. Again, I've talked about this release before. I absolutely love it. I love his expression so much. I love the fact that they actually released the Vern taxi in Cars 2. It's something that I just discovered like a couple years ago that there was actually a Vern taxi in Cars 2. So it's really cool that they did this. And yeah, the expression like looking off to the side is just so good. On the back here, it's pretty boring because you just see some of the same stuff that we were just looking at on the others, but at least they got the movie right. I could have totally seen them putting Cars 1 on here because it's such an obscure background character that, yeah, I'm really surprised that they got it right. Oh, this one. Look at all that. What is that gunk on that one? But yeah, two Rebney Grantes. Perfect choice, obviously, because he is a brand new release. Two Bling Bling McQueens. Also not a bad decision considering the fact that bling bling mcqueen here this is his first thailand release believe it or not a variant of mcqueen that has not yet been touched by thailand until now and this is another exclusive to case j item however unlike dana as i said it is included in the walmart reduced version of the case and there are two of them in that both of these do make it over to the walmart version of that case so Again, it's going to be you know relatively inexpensive on eBay and just an easier one to acquire. I think I will do a review of this Thailand variant, maybe. I've had it on my upcoming videos list in the About section of my channel, which is where I have my schedule as well, my video schedule. But looking at him now, like he really just, I don't know. It could be fun to review it though. I think I probably still will. Just because I think it's a fun video to do regardless of the fact that he's not very different from the Chinese version. Like I haven't reviewed like a Dynaco McQueen, let alone Bling Bling McQueen in probably years. So fun to revisit and would be a cool thumbnail. <laughs> I'm excited to make it. So yeah, Bling Bling McQueen. I like the art. They still haven't corrected the fact that, you know, the Piston Cup should be gold and they're just blanked over as silver. That's why the Disney Store version of Bling McQueen <laughs> is superior because they actually did it right. Now this card back's pretty interesting. You have Dexter Hoover, who is an exclusive to this case. Bertha Butters Wagon is in this case in case L. Charlie Checker, case K. You have Tex, I think that's also a K-er. Transforming McQueen's in K, and then I think again in L. Brad Windmiller has been in a few. Lightning McQueen with Signs is another one that I've actually never seen in a store before, but he was in, you know, like an earlier case, like I think F or G. I think it was G actually. But yeah, so a lot of interesting stuff on the back here compared to some of the other ones. But yeah, I think it's a good idea to include two of these because, well, they aren't in any more cases and it's a new Thailand variant of a car that hasn't been released in a while. But of course, including yet another McQueen. I mean, I feel like that's like where you cap it. You know, you got your Cars 1 McQueen, you got your bling blings. That's enough. But they did slip in under the table a little World Grand Prix Cars 2 Lightning McQueen with racing wheels here. It's not a perfect card though. You know, I swear, like, I feel like I have like a little bias. Like if a car comes out and it's on a bad card, like I'm initially more upset that it's in the case. Like I'm like, ah, this is a peg warmer. Get this out of my case. But oh yeah, McQueen, this is not a perfect car. Oh, I don't see it that much on the pegs. It sells well. Uh, I'm sorry guys. I should try and be more objective. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I tend to be, but... Yeah, this shouldn't be in this case, <laughs> period, even if it's on a good card. But yeah, it has seen cars too, and you get a nice little slew of townies and World Grand Prix racers. It's funny, like these are all basically Cars 1 releases, but they are able to get away with it for the Cars 2 thing as well. And here you have Sally, see... They put SC in Cars 2 and Sally's on the back there, but I mean, you have the same exact characters here. Like, look at that, but as seen in Cars 1. <laughs> How fun. So yeah, Sally, 
also on a perfect card, but she's been in a lot of cases this year. I know she was in case M. She's back here again. But as I've said before, you know, this is a, yet another one where you could put it right next to the 2006 desert version of her and be like, wow, it's so cool to see the evolution of the card and the car even itself now being made, you know, in Thailand as it was in 2006, but very different. But the art is the same. So I think that's pretty cool. And these artworks are classic. You can see on the back there some of the earlier stuff released this year. Darla Vanderson hasn't been in a case in a while, but she has persisted. <laughs> the damage was already done. Dash Borman. Oh, this guy has been ravaged. But yeah, so Dash was initially included in case E. And I think he had a couple other inclusions as well. This was not his first Thailand release. That was last year, actually. But somehow, some way, they did manage to give him new artwork this year. Like this artwork is brand new to 2022. And guess who was the first person in the world to report of that? Me. <laughs> I know, that sounds super cocky, but I truly was the first person in the world to find Case E at a store, and so I reported of this. It was actually, <laughs> I didn't know this at the time, but it was a full case minus artist Ramon. And yet, at that time, we thought that Dana Crankoff and Jay with VR headset were in that case. We didn't know that they were postponed, and so I kind of went on a frenzy looking for the full case, to no avail, of course. On the back here, you can see, again, some more interesting stuff. Derek Williams, Bruce Miller, who is incorrectly there. It should be Winford Bradford Rutherford, who's actually got released. The Easter buggy. This case, I found it like the day after Easter. And so, <laughs> close, Mattel, close. Jonathan Wrenchworth, who was in case, who was also supposed to be in this case as well. So I kind of went looking for him, but he was in the next case. Purple Ramon, Sarge, those were in case D. Artie was in the following case as well, F. But yeah. All right, here we go. This is pretty exciting. Oh, thank God he's on a perfect card. Oh, I really needed this one to be on a good card. There's a few in here that like I really need to be on a good card, and this is one of them because Kabuto, you know, he doesn't seem like much. He's been released probably like six of the last 10 years, maybe even more than that. Actually, he's been released 2010, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, maybe 16. There was a year in there where he took off. He was not released in 2017 or 2018 or 2019 or 2020. So he took four years off, but he returned in 2020, which was his first release from Thailand. And now he is back in 20 okay no never mind so he took 2017 to 2020 off 2021 he came back first release from thailand and now he is back again from thailand 2022 but what makes this special is that this release in particular is only in case j so if you want it with the red riders background like this and you know everything as such you can only get it out of case j and it is not in the Walmart version. Again, only Bling Bling McQueen and Revni Grante are in that Walmart version along with a bunch of scrubs like, you know, Dash Boardman, Artist Ramon, Lewis Hamilton, and Sally, and some other ones as well. Whew, wow, that's a lot. But all right, it's good to have him, good to have him on a good card, but not a new Thailand release, just a new release for the year. And a bunch of boring cars on the back there at least in my eyes. I mean, it's just something we've already seen before, like this exact array of cars we've seen before on other card backs. So it'd be nice if they changed it up, you know, put an image of Kabuto on there, put an image of Revni or Colin Bowrev. Those are other cars to releases that truly should be on that card back. All right, we're gonna skip you. Oh no, they didn't do it, did they? You gotta be kidding me, two Jackson Storms? I don't think there's been two Jackson Storms in a case since like 2020. Maybe they did it last year, but I don't think they did yet this year. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. That's pretty lame. I feel like just no one cares about Jackson Storm anymore. I know, I'm I'm being rude. I'm sure you guys like him out there, and I do too. I like the release of him, and a couple here and there are okay, but two Jackson Storms who's not even remotely new, I don't believe that belongs in this case, especially when you already doubled up on Bling Bling McQueen. You essentially doubled up on regular McQueen, just you know, from Cars 1 and Cars 2. You doubled up on Revenue, which was a plus, a positive. 
I just don't think you need to double up on Jackson. That being said, I do not see too many Jackson storms on the pegs. I really don't. So maybe, I mean, Mattel, they know what they're doing for the most part. What I do see are a lot of Darrell Vandersons and Matthew True Blumacruz. Not as much in terms of Jackson Storm, though. So I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, I still don't fully agree with it. Like, put two of Dana Crank off. Put two of Bertha Butters Wagon in the case. I think a lot of us would agree with that. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, another yay on a perfect card is Kathy Copter. The case gods have been on my side so far, but I don't want to jinx it. I need three more to be on good cards, but yeah. All right, so this is yet another one that is exclusive to Case J. Even though Kathy got her first title and release last year, this version of her on the Red Riders package, just like Kabuto, is only available in Case J. She was not reissued in you know, K, L, or M. On the back here, again, you have a nice little assortment. Dexter Hoover we'll see in a couple moments. We'll see Yellow Hydraulic Ramona in a couple moments, both of which are in the exact same boat as Kathy and Kabuto, exclusive to this case. Dexter's a little bit more special because it is his first time being released from Thailand. The other ones we've talked about before. So yeah, a release that I don't think was necessary this year, especially, you know, they did Ron Hover and Kathy Copter both last year. And they were both new variants coming from Thailand. And I don't see why they needed to return this year. Oh, nice. Another perfect card of Luigi and Guido. This is one that I know for sure is in the Walmart version of the case because I've seen them a lot. And I think, yeah, this is totally a good inclusion, I'd say. Luigi and Guido do not peg warm. They have not been released all that much this year. And yeah, they just look cool. I love the look of both of them on there. It just, it makes it look like you're kind of getting a little bit more for your money, even though it's probably the same like weight, but yeah, cool stuff. Luigi and Guido, as you can see, they've been included since the very beginning because you could see how they hotshot McQueen on there, which is a sign of case A. <laughs> all right, sweet. And I need this one on perfect card, and it, yes, oh my god. Ooh, I'm getting nervous, guys, because we have two more that I would really like on perfect card. But yeah, Barry DePedal. This guy has been released from Thailand many times now, starting in 2018. So it's nothing to get too hyped about. But as I keep saying, yet another 2022 release that you can only get in case J. And I really like the look of him. Like He looks great on the Red Riders packaging. The die cast itself, not exciting, but 2022 Bury the Pedal, that's pretty cool. Another next gen release. They didn't do too many next gens this year. They didn't do really any Cars 3 stock cars. So yeah, Cars 3 definitely kind of took a backseat this year. And so it's nice to, you know, get Barry here, which is kind of a, you know, it's going to be a rare release of the year. Let's see what the back shows. Yeah, the back looks pretty cool. You have Paul Conrev, who is in case G. George Newen, who is in case K, and flipped over, also in case K. You have Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline. Now, remember, the 2022 version of her comes with like one of those barrels as well, so it's too bad they couldn't you know, put that with her there. But yeah, I haven't seen her on the back of really any card backs, I don't believe, so that's nice. You have the King, Murray Clutchburn, and Jackson Storm. Murray should not be, at least this version of him, should not be on a Cars 3 card back. The Cars 3 version should be, but that's the Cars 1 version. Yeah, so it's good to see him. Even though, objectively, you know, he's been released quite a few times over the last few years. All right. We're going to save Dana for later. We're going to save... Oh, there's two Berthas in here. I did not know that. Let's jump. Oh, my God. This has been a good case. Everything's so far... I mean, a lot of stuff has been on good cards, which I've been very delayed about. And yeah, here you have Chaisaki. She's been released, you know, a lot. She had her first Thailand release last year in 2021. I do, you know, a lot of these cards, they get released a ton and you kind of, it's just oversaturated and you kind of forget how cool they are. But she really does have a very intricate design. I love her black lipstick there. Black and red are some of my favorite colors, especially when they're put together. And so I do like Chaisaki a lot. And her expression is also really good. Better than Suki's. 
rather than her roomies. So yeah, I think she's my favorite just behind the Chigo of you know those four girls that all share the same model. And you guys know in Cars on the Road in Showtime, the circus episode, there is a clown that shares this model. So I would not be surprised if they release that one soon because it'd be pretty easy. It would be pretty easy. Okie dokie, let's go to Murray Clutchburn here. So this guy's been included in many cases since case C. That was the first time he was released this year. And it was his first time being released from Thailand. Last year, his younger or his older self, the Cars 3 version of Murray Clutchburn, got released for the first time from Thailand. Just kind of time traveling, <laughs> jumping all over the timeline. But yeah, it's good to see him back. Piston Cup racers don't tend to peg warm, although I'd say I've probably seen this one the most. I barely see, I don't really ever see Ralph Carlo anymore. I do still see Hall Ingas a bit. Don't see Dave Alternators anymore. So yeah. Probably is Murray or Hall that have gone released the most. On the back there, you could see some good stuff. Donna Pitts, Jonathan Wrenchworth, Bugmouth McQueen, another KC goer. Alrighty here. Oh my god, this one needs to be on a good card. Not bad. A little bendy over here, but we could fix that. That's not bad at all. Perfect. All right, so Dexter Hoover here with checkered flag, as they note. Kind of a busy package here. You have Dexter with checkered flag in four languages. See, I don't know why sometimes they only do three languages. I guess it's because maybe the translation in one of them is so similar. Because sometimes there's only two languages, sometimes there's only one language. But yeah, you have a choking hazard as well, because you could totally swallow that flag. Don't do that, please. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first time Dexter Hoover has been released from Thailand, which is kind of surprising. You know, you do kind of like have to fact check that a little bit. And then you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, he hasn't because, you know, Charlie Checker, race official Tom, Chris Rebstopsky, Pat Traxon, all of these other Piston Cup officials have been released a lot from Thailand, but not Dexter. And I do really like this release. He's got an interesting expression. He's not just, you know, smiling. He's you know a little bit nervous. He doesn't know what's going to happen on this last laugh. Expectedly so. I mean, we didn't know. I mean, it was a very exciting finish. What I don't like about this though is that he is the wrong model. You know, for years, for years, ever since he was first released, you know, in like 2009 or 2008, he's been you know just too wide, too big of a truck. And they initially released Chris Revstopsky with this inaccurate model, but then corrected her when they first released her from Thailand. So you'd think they do the same thing with Dexter, you know, when they first released him from Thailand, they correct him. Nope, they did not. But yeah, not the you know worst thing in the world. I guess I've just come to accept this version of him for like 10 years over that. 16, 15, no, 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 2008, 14 years. Oh, I'm old. Again, this one is exclusive to Case J. On the back, you see Damage the King, Charlie Checker, Holland Gas, Yellow Hydraulic Ramon, who I will pull out next, Brad Wimmiller, Spin Out McQueen. So a nice little assortment. Like these are some Cars 1 classics on here, especially like these two, even this one a little bit. Like, yeah, this is a nice card back here, which is good. They want, they should really diversify the card backs more, in my opinion. Seeing that like Cars 2 batch with Otis, Chisaki, you know, whatever and whatever on the back is getting a little boring. Let me pull that up for a second. Yeah, this little batch of cars is just getting really boring to me. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. Glad to see Dexter from Thailand. And last for the re-releases on a pretty solid card. <laughs> I'm very grateful for how everything turned out in this video. It is Yellow Hydraulic Ramon. A nice release for sure, but again, not his first time from Thailand. So Dexter is the only new to Thailand release in this case. Yellow Hydraulic Ramon was first released from Thailand in late 2019, early 2020, along with cars like Randy Lawson, Conrad Camber Tractor, basically Next Gen Shiny Wax Tractor, the correct Terry Cargas, Thailand variants of... Winford Bradford Rutherford, the corrected Chris Revstopsky. Yeah, that was that whole generation of cars were accompanied by Yellow Hydraulic Ramon. And yet again, 
another Case J exclusive. So it is pretty mind boggling to me that they really so many like quote unquote new cars for the year, you know, like again, like I said, these had not been released in previous cases and then they just didn't reissue them. They only re the only cars that they introduced in this case and reissued were Bertha. Is that true? So in this case, you get Kathy Copter, you get Dexter, Barry, Yellow Hydrock Ramon, Revney Garante, Bling Bling McQueen, Kabuto, and Dana and Bertha. That is insane. So they introduced all those cars to this case and they only put Bertha in another case. Wow. Whoa, Mattel, I just said, I just said that you guys know what you're doing, but that does not sound like you know what you're doing. But yeah, anyways, cool release, very yellow, very vibrant. On the back, not a bad assortment. Bertha, Dexter, Brad, Kathy, a lot of case J goers here. Cool, all right. And that leaves the last two new releases. The first being Dana Crankoff here. Wow, I've been very lucky with the card backs here. So yeah, Dana Crankoff is a Cars 3 reporter. They did get the movie right here on the back, which I was happy about. You can see John Blatt, Jimmy Changa, The King, Manny McGear, Jackson, Liability, APB, and Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. I did already review here, so I'll leave the links you know, for my reviews of Revney, Dana, and Bertha in the description below if you want to check that out. But yeah, this is a really nice release. Again, there is one thing that I get a little annoyed about. Just like It's a little weird, the fact that Revney and Dana are the exact same model. It's just like odd that you know two of the new cars in a case are the same model. Just this kind of generic sedan, but... I'll take it, you know, it's our first camera car from Cars 3, so I am pretty excited about that. And she's got a nice expression, I do like this expression. By the way, it could be a he, I know a male Dana, I know male and female Danas, so it could be either way. Nice, and I like her art, or his art. And last, but certainly not least, is Bertha Butters Wagon. So everyone, of course, goes crazy, and rightfully so, over Bertha because she was canceled way, way back in 2010. She was going to be a final lap single along with Benny Caliper and some other cars like Percy Handbrakes, Kit Revster, Dan Sklarkenberg. Now those three, they did end up getting uncanceled and released much quicker than Bertha. You know, Dan, it took till 2016. Kit only till like 2013. Percy Handbrakes to 2016. Bertha, 2022. <laughs> so pretty much, you know, double what the other ones had to wait. Kind of sad, but I'm just at least happy we finally have her. Two in this case, I did not know they did that. I think that's a wonderful decision. You know, I don't like that they did two Jackson Storms, but two Revneys, two Bling Blings, two Berthas, I would give that, you know, that those are three solid moves in my opinion. I do like that a lot because, I mean, this is a brand new character that people have been wanting for years because Mattel teased them with it 12 years ago. And they're using the artwork that they created 10 years ago, or at least Pixar did. So really cool on the back here, nothing that we haven't seen before, but yeah. Definitely one of the best releases of the year. Like even objectively, you have to give Mattel props for uncanceling a car that they canceled 12 years ago. You just gotta be like, wow, they are still, like they still know, like they know what they did. They know that fans want this car and they know that it's within their capabilities to release it. So Obviously opens the door for Benny Caliper, who is the same model as Matthew True Blue McCrew and Dash Boardman. So I'd say that's a pretty easy one to do. And I would not be surprised if we see him very soon. All right, guys, that is all. Two Bertha Bothers Wagons, two Revenues. That is a win for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is the final singles case unboxing of the year, which is kind of sad. I might get that two pack case to unbox. Not sure. But either way, it probably won't be for a little while. You guys let me know in the comment section below which car from this case is your favorite. Mine is Revney Garante. I do love Bertha. I do love Dana. But <laughs> they are up stiff competition with Revney Garante. Like if 
any of these cars were just like in one of those previous cases this year. Like if you put Dana in C, she's the best. If you put Bertha in D, she's the best. If you put Dana in E, she's the best. You put Bertha in F, she's the best. You know what I'm saying? So it really just came down to the fact that all the new cars got squunched to the end of the year you know, like in the last couple of cases here. So yeah, guys, thank you so much again. I hope you enjoyed this sexy case unboxing and I will see you soon for another video. Bye now. And of course I am back with something a lot of you guys may not know about, but there still are differences between international and American packages. Those differences used to be a lot, lot more noticeable, but they're still there. And because of the fact that I acquired a lot of this case J stuff from Greece a couple months ago, I have almost all of the international ones to compare to the United States versions, except for yellow hydraulic Ramon. For whatever reason, the Greek seller never found this one, or maybe he just had a fetish for it and hoarded them all. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're just going to go through them quickly. The fronts are identical, so the only differences are the back, and I like that. Honestly, I like the international cards a lot because you actually get to see the stock image for the character that you're holding, which you usually or sometimes don't see on other card backs. Like Revni does not appear on anyone else's card back. So this image is essentially exclusive to the international version of this packaging and the 2022 poster, which just finally got revealed. Mattel lied to me, guys. They lied to me. Or maybe they decided to make it after I told them. That would kind of make sense because it took them forever. Here you have Bertha Butters Wagon. This is one where you have seen the stock image on others. Like I think Dexter Hoover. Nope. <laughs> Not that one. Who else has it? Oh yeah, Bling Bling McQueen. You can see that Bertha is on the back of him. But like I said, Revney, Dana, you will not see them on anyone else's card backs. So here you have Dana. Very nice. You guys saw these international versions of the Case J stuff in my, well, I think it was Giga Hall 9 and 10. Oh, wait, no, it was 8 and 9, I think, that I showed them all in. It's wild to think that we're already on Giga Hall episode 11. At least that will be the next one after this video gets uploaded. Here you have Bling Bling McQueen, which actually the stock image shows him with gold rims. Obviously not accurate. And this is another one that you won't see pop up on anyone else's card back. You got Transforming McQueen, but not Bling Bling. Kind of mind boggles me that they even still like have differences in the card backs. Like I really would have thought they would have standardized them all by now to cut down on costs. Here you have Barry the Pedal. Only a couple languages needed for him. Kathy Copter. This one's kind of boring. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of cool to have some international card backs. I prefer the you know older card backs because one of the major differences would be instead of like having your name tag down here, instead of the name on the tag, it would be an image of the character. So it was super easy back then to tell you know, which was international, and which was domestic. Now it's much more difficult because you have to see the back of the card. However, in Spain, I have seen that the artist Ramon is just referred to on the front as Ramon. Like right here, it just says Ramon instead of Ramon Green, which I find interesting. And last but not least, oh my God, look at this absolute quagmire of languages for Dexter Hoover with checkered flag. So yeah, when you get out of like, just names like original names like Dexter Hoover or Kabuto and then you start adding like English terms into it like with checkered flag that's where you get yourself into trouble but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video again I appreciate it and that is all hope you enjoyed this extra little bonus part